My name is Dan Wolf, and my website is xlrmancables.com. My uh, email account is xlrmancables at gmail.com. What I'd like to show today is um, the XLR to two RCA unbalanced signals. I'd like to show that cable today because it's our most versatile cable. Okay, here we are with uh, our most popular cable that we make. Uh, it's a XLR to two RCAs. That's the difference between our cable and other ones. Uh, we have two unbalanced uh, signals coming um, through the cable and into a, um, an XLR connector and then passing from one connector to the other uh, through an XLR cable. And that could be in the front of the auditorium to the back of the auditorium. It could be from uh, equipment to equipment. I've used it a variety of different ways. I even use it around the house uh, to uh, pass signals from one room to another if I care to. We even used uh, our cabling system uh, with uh, earphone connections during a recording session one time when we wanted to distribute uh, earphones uh, from the master uh, earphone mixer to every room in the house because we have an insulated house that we record in and we use this system to do that. Another cable, not this one. And anyway, this cable is our most popular because it's our most versatile. Uh, I've used it to carry uh, left and right stereo I've used it to carry video and audio. By the way, what you're listening to right now is coming through the very cables and an, an XLR cable in between, of course. But uh, at the very cables that are listed are, are pictured on our website are what you're listening to and what you're seeing right now. Our signals are coming through those cables. So the reason why we chose those is because we can do so many things with them. We can put um, we can make them quarter inch if we care to. We can uh, make them stereo quarter inch if we care to. Uh, we can, you know, a PL259 if you have a use for that, <laughs> RCA. You, you can see and you can hook two RCA cables together. You can change it to an F connection if you care to, to pass RF. Um, and uh, you can also run it through a cable that we're listening to right now, like this, because we're coming out of a mixer, a mixing board, we're taking our wireless mic, plugging it into a mixing board, we're coming out of a mixing board with a line level signal, which is going into the red right here, and coming out on the red over here, on this side. And um, so, uh, we, what you're listening to right now is coming through a cable that looks like, like this. Um, nothing magical uh, about what we're doing, it's just that we're unbalancing the, the uh, signals and passing two unbalanced signals through a cable that normally only passes uh, balanced signals. I've used it in churches, I've given it out to about four or five different churches. They've had no problem with it, they've used it uh, for uh, a while and uh, I wanted to put it under different conditions than what I used it here at home so that uh, I could test and make sure that it it didn't seem to have any problems. We also have other cables. I'll be back uh, on other sessions and discuss other cables. Uh, S-Video uh, and um, you know telephone if you want telephone. A variety of different cables. Uh, BNC. A variety of different cables that we produce that um, are, can be even specially made cables. We can put you know a quarter inch on one and an RCA on another or something like that. But we can mix it up and match it. So anyway, we'll see how that works out in the future. But thank you very much for listening, and uh, we'll be back on future sessions.